Hi Gemini, this is your reading for the 2nd till the 8th of January 2023. I hope you've had a nice uh, New Year's um, weekend, a New Year's Day and New, Year, New Year's Eve and I hope you will have a beautiful year in 2023. I'm using the Cosmic Tarot, also the Angel Feather um, Oracle and the Romance Oracle and the Mystical Wisdom um, Oracle. So let's see what you we have in store for you this week. You come in with the Fool. The Fool means basically taking a leap of faith into a new beginning. This also, the fool uh, was born in a cave. He came from a cave, so he has no life knowledge or a life experience. So he has to literally um, listen to his intuition and follow his intuition. And so when he starts his journey, he can start gaining knowledge and learning a life experience and life knowledge. Also, the, the fool to me uh, reminds me to warn you not to be foolish or to be the fool. Don't be and uh, don't let anybody pull the wool over your eyes. Always do the research before you start something, trying to gain as much information as you can. Also, have faith in yourself as others have faith in you. Um, also, love yourself as others love you. Remember, I'm hearing somebody telling me, take care of number one first, then you can take care of the rest. Love yourself, respect yourself first, and you will be respected and you are loved. Also, there could be somebody um, following you this week that is very loyal and faithful. Or supporting you this week so don't be shy or scared to ask for help so don't be foolish by thinking you can always do everything on your own and by yourself because sometimes we need support and help many hands make light work oh that's the overall energy also um, in this deck he looks like a joker um, and um, I get the idea, loosen up a bit, loosen up, don't be too serious. Let your inner child out, Gemini, as we are the third house and we are the child, so we are allowed to let our inner child come out to play. Don't be too serious. Have a laugh, enjoy. Especially if you're on your own, get out and be seen. If you're going for something that you want, then go for it. But put yourself out there, whether it's a job or romance or in friends or anything like that. So go out there, be seen and play. That's the overall energy. Also, the sun is shining on you. You're coming in this year like uh, the first week the, f the first day of the week, the first, uh, sorry, the first day, the first week, and the first month of the year. So definitely, um, it's not the first day of the month, it's the second day of the month, because it's from the second to the eighth. So anyway, it's the first day of a new week, the, literally the first week, full week um, in January and in the first year in a new year. Okay, the sun also means that you are in the spotlight. Where there is a spotlight, there is illumination. Something might need your direct attention. As you've got the light side and the dark side of the moon, the star and the sun, because they are spotlights. So behind the spotlights, there is always a um, mysterious or a dark side. Although the sun seems to be always bright but remember um, the moon is dark the sun is light the day is light the night is dark we can't do with one without the other so 
definitely do the research um, if somebody something or somebody or, uh, needs an answer or is making an offer you need to do the research you are in the spotlight definitely you're coming out to play you are going to be seen you will be the happy beacon around people and people might this uh, want your attention so be ready to jump into action but do the research as much as you can also um, time is fertile as the sun is shining on you and the sun shines and makes things grow so if you've invested in something then it the sun is shining on you then it will grow also it is a good time to get pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions if you're too mature then you will hear of a birth this can be of a project but this can also be of a child you yourself could find out that you're expecting you could be meeting or dealing with a leo also you could be going getting engaged or getting married or starting a fam family or expanding the family this can be with a baby but this can also be with a domestic pet also you could be moving home or you could be going on holiday also this means going on to the next level in career so it could be a promotion or a wage rise definitely you're beginning the new year very very positive and you can com uh, compare this reading with your yearly reading see whether the energy is correct you've also got the king of pentacles midweek so you've got the midest touch the midest touch means that everything you touch will turn to gold in other words whatever you start or whatever you've invested in and you work on it um, will be turning good in your advantage more money more prosperity if it is romance more uh, romance more love you could be dealing with a Taurus mainly but don't forget Virgo or Capricorn this man does his research before he invests himself or his money because he goes for the whole hog for the long term with tangibility and durability he's a gentleman but he's and slow but steady very steady he loves what he does and he will invest wholeheartedly he could be your sunshine as he is lying next to the sun so he is your star you could already be hooked up with an earth sign but there again you can also hook up with the fire sign leo you've got the prince of cups so that is pisces mainly but don't forget the oh no all three the prince is the knight so those that means cancer scorpio or pisces so those are the people that you could be dealing with or meeting the knight of cups could be somebody younger than yourself so don't shrug away that you could hook up or meet uh, hook up with somebody younger than yourself you know um i'm somebody staying me a toy boy or <laughs> or a sugar daddy <laughs> okay you might be somebody's sugar daddy who knows be careful who you meet don't be the fool right uh, the angels make me laugh sometimes something chronic anyway i'm also getting the letter p peter paul uh so i'm um, getting names so it could be somebody that is peter 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 or pete paul okay so anyway um news is coming to you and an offer because he's carrying the chalice and also the chalice and uh, the knight of cups means that there is an offer coming in this could be an offer of love but this could also be an offer uh, for your house if you're selling your house because you could be moving home with the sun here 
So definitely for those that are wanting to move home or selling their home, yes, the answer is there could be an offer coming in. This could also be an offer of a job. So if you invest in something for long term, do the research. As the knight, the prince of cups, is lying next to the king of pentacles. But everything you do will turn out positive and better than you anticipated. So don't have any um, expectations because it will turn out much better than you ever imagined. Because you've got a load of positive cards. The Prince of Cups um, also could, uh, could be uh, bringing an offer of passion. But remember, if you want to get married, passion doesn't last. So don't start something that you cannot finish. In other words, take it slow and steady like the King of Pentacles and go with the flow like the Knight of Cups and take and give it time before you uh, decide to leave like jump, jump into something deep and unknown like the fall. So give it time and set your boundaries and know their boundaries. Then you know what step to take next. Also, you've got the three of ones at the end of the week. This means that plans will come together. You will be dancing for joy. Like this lady, she is doing her dance. So sing your own song or dance to your own tune because plans are coming to fruition abundance is coming in this could be love but this could also be money like i said the sun is shining on you and also the king of pentacles um, he is positive very very positive because everything he touches will turn to gold so we've got a good week to start off with now, with the Romance Oracle, we have Give Your Relationship a Chance. I hadn't even seen that when I said Give It a Chance. Don't just jump into something else in the, into the deep end. So be aware that you need to do the research. Because I think, Gemini, you could be in demand because the sun is shining on you. So give your friendships or relationships a chance especially in romance. Work on your partnerships, but work also on your friendships. Don't judge too quickly. But remember, if it is somebody from the, I don't know, if somebody um, comes back from the past, remember, a fox sheds his fur, but not his tricks. I just, somebody just came in and told me that. So this might be a message just for one person that might mysteriously discover this channel. We've also got the pink. So we do have a lot of feeling or vibes, at least I have, that love is in the air. Pink is also the color of the heart chakra. Pink and green is the color of the heart chakra. This is the sort of like Barbie pink uh, color. Cherise, some people call it, or Cyclamen. The Romance Angels are here to inform you that there is an interesting development about to take place in your love life. So be open to receive, because you are the beacon. There might be more than one admirer here, as we've got the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and we have the Sun, Leo. Virgo, Capricorn um, and Taurus. It could also be very significant um, Capricorn time. We've also got Pisces, um, Cancer or Scorpio. This could also be to do with the time of Capricorn between now and uh, Pisces that you will meet a new love if you haven't got a love or something magical is going to happen in your relationship so long you work on your relationship or friendships. A friendship might even change into a relationship. You might even meet somebody on a vacation. As we have vacation, take time for relaxation and adventure. 
and why what did I say at the beginning of the reading let your inner child out come out to play you need to relax after a stressful time with Christmas and New Year you might be the one that is organizing or organized all the partying that's been going on and here is a beautiful young girl around the age of 10 between 10 and 15 I get the feeling and she's flying on a fly, uh, flying carpet and she's also just drifting along going with the flow of the wind and in smiling and seeing toward on the horizon looking on the horizon there's a lot of butterflies and flowers around her which means to me that the you could be in transition and transformation you are going to a beautiful something something that you want to go and do or something that you want again we've got the sun and that means also holidays vacation you might even be going on vacation this week and you could be meeting a new partner if you haven't got a partner don't just let it be a holiday romance make sure that they are going into this relationship for the long term take it slow but steady you deserve a rest time for long sleeps massages sunbathing or playing in the snow rejuvenate and make uh, and nurture your mind especially your mind gemini because you are an air sign body and spirit with plenty of rest simple pleasures explore the universe as it is filled with wonder joy and magical things like all the children do they explore they're inquisitive so dare to um, come out of your comfort zone you may be going away on a family vacation or a short getaway or a romantic trip it is important to remember the everlasting memories and bond you are creating like I said take your time like the king of pentacles don't just jump into the deep end and and be passionate passion won't last make sure that give your relationship a chance or friendships if you meet new people make build it on solid foundations so that you won't get a tower moment i hope you've enjoyed this reading for this week and i hope to see you in the lives if not <coughs> in the next video thank you for your likes your shares and subscriptions please do subscribe more than half has haven't dis subscribed yet and please do hit that bell even if it is on private make a choice but be a, sub a cyber angel show me give me a reaction i love to react back take care and now i'm going to the extended reading for this week so um, the link will be in the description box if you're a paying member. Take care, be blessed and stay safe. Bye bye, gems. You are a jewel.